Did you know on your resume when it asks you to put down references? Yeah. They want real people. What? That they can call yeah, up and Jeff. question about you. No. <laughs> I mean, Alexis knows. That's a horrible idea. Oh, yeah. yeah, I definitely worked for my friend Megan. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly, you can put down any fake Gmail or phone number on there yeah. and usually get away with it. Yeah. But that's why we felt bad. And we contacted a business owner who's trying to hire a very important sales position for his company. Mm-hmm. And he's been looking at one particular woman to possibly hire. Ooh. All he needs is a solid reference check from us. Oh, okay. Well, okay so what we're happens call next? Him. <laughs> well, we really can't say oh. legally. <laughs> You're going to understand why in your phone tab right now. Hello? Hi, is this Dean? Yes, uh, who's calling? My name's Greg McDonald. You reached out to me over email about an employee. You said put me down as a reference. Oh, uh, right. Hi. Um, Hi. Hold on. Let me get my papers here. Okay. No problem. Take your time. I think if I remember right, you know Jasmine. Yeah, Jasmine. No, I absolutely do know her. She's actually famous around here oh. or infamous. Could be either one, I guess. <laughs> okay. She's uh, well known. <laughs> yeah. Interesting. Um, <laughs> well, what can you tell me about her? Um. Well, I can tell you I do know her. 100% first name basis. Okay, right. <laughs> uh, as an employee, uh-huh. uh, was she reliable? You know, come to work on time, hit her all of her deadlines and Oh. Stuff? Um, well, unfortunately, I actually can't disclose that information. <laughs> I'm sorry? Yeah, that would violate the NDA that I signed. Oh. <laughs> you, you signed an NDA with her? Ooh, okay. See, even that question is a little on the edge there. Like, I'm not sure if I can respond or not. Well, so I don't understand. So you just said mm-hmm. you signed an NDA with her, correct? And I was just confirming it. Sorry, I don't want. I don't want this to sound so serious. It's just non-disclosure agreements can be tricky, you know. And in my line of work, I'm signing them all the time. Uh, I bet you are too. <laughs> and maybe you can't tell me. Yeah. <laughs> well, I. I mean, not really. Okay. Well, but overall, I can answer almost any question about her. I can provide any inside. I mean, I, I mean, I know how hard it is to hire people these days, so I'm here to help. Yeah, well, I appreciate that. Yeah, so ask away. Okay. Yeah, I can try another. Go for it. Um, so on her resume, mm-hmm. it says that she was responsible for over um, 600000 in sales last year. That's a big number. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can you confirm that happened and tell me what exactly her role was in that? Ooh, you know how bad I what? would like to answer that question. <laughs> That's okay. a really good one, too, on your part. I mean, yeah, you come up with great questions. So answer it. No, I mean, I wish. I wish I could. But most of that also falls under the NDA. Oh. Well, see. so tell me the part that doesn't fall under the NDA. Hmm. Okay, sure. Actually, I can confirm that she does, in fact, have a resume. Oh. Yeah, I know. <laughs> a full yeah. resume. Yeah, I know that. I just read it to you. Oh, well, then it looks like you don't need me. You're finding your own answers. Okay, You're okay, like a but, detective over there. How am I supposed to get a reference from you uh-huh. if you can't tell me anything about her uh, or answer any questions? Oh, Once oh. All under the NDA or not. Hey, I just thought of something I can tell you, and, and this could really help you out. Finally, please yeah. tell me. Okay. So last year, we had this, like, weird thing happening in the office where office supplies were going missing. Yeah. And, like, not just pens and paper, bro. I'm talking about, like, expensive toner. I mean, a few printers just vanished. Okay, gone. are you saying... Jasmine had something to do with that. Aha! Good question. You see, I thought that too. So I sat her down, I told her about it, and then she started crying. What'd she say? Nothing. She actually what? had just signed an NDA. She couldn't tell me if she was involved at all. <laughs> what the heck? Oh, you <laughs> asshole. Uh, that's what she called me. <laughs> Stop laughing. You told me that whole ridiculous story. Yeah. You didn't tell me anything. What? Oh, I thought that would help, man. Come on. No, I did it. And now 
I'm in the same spot that I was when you called five minutes. What is this? That is not true because your co-owner got exactly the info he needed from this prank phone call, and what? there is no NDA required at all. <laughs> I can tell you that. What are you talking about? Are you, are you, are, are you talking about Joseph? Yeah. Yeah, that's exactly you... who I'm talking about. Joseph, your co-owner, he's the one who set you up. What? What? He said lately you've had a few job candidates putting fake references down on their resumes or something. Oh, my God. <laughs> Yeah. He knew it'd be really easy to mess with you, man. That's the thing. I was thinking, like, how many NDAs can this one guy have? And I was. That's a great question, but because of the NDAs, I can't answer the question about the NDAs. I'm so sorry. <laughs> well, you are still an asshole, though. <laughs> oh, that's not in the NDA. I can confirm. You are correct. Yeah. <laughs>